Hello, warm regards from uh, Golden Hands and I welcome you to this preview on uh, BioVibes which is going to be a new paradigm of life's journey and for the first time this particular uh, uh, concept of BioVibration is brought to you by uh, Sai Golden Hands Planets Indian Barad which is a company from the Malaysia and uh, the board of directors are uh, mainly Dr. Prabhu which is me and uh, if you would like to know a little bit of my background, is I have a medical background with a ENT specialization as my main field. But at, as of present, for the past five years, I have gone into this bioenergy analysis and its research. And it, it has taken me a long way in my life. And it is uh, where I am very happy to present to you this particular concept of enhancing the bio vibration, which is for the first time in Asia. And uh, I am privileged to give this opportunity to you all that you can energize and you can enhance your biofrequency by the methods which probably in the latest slides which I will be showing to you and uh, in this what you notice is what you believe need not be true and uh, what is true you have to believe that means bio vibration is truth you have to believe because I have come across people saying I don't believe this but whether you believe it or not it is there and what I am trying to tell you is uh, why is it so important that you all need to look into your life journey wherein you have to enhance your bio vibration which is a very very important tool you cannot ignore you cannot neglect it it is very important now if you're looking at the this particular slide where i'm showing you i'm showing you an antenna wherein i'm showing you a dish wherein we are all like a dish antenna wherein whatever is the frequency and however powerful we are that is how we all communicate with the universe. If I can show you this particular uh, telephone and you are seeing a mobile phone on your screen there, this particular mobile phone is basically for communication. Absolutely, yes or no. So wherein I just dial a particular number, whether, whether it's from Malaysia to US or US to Malaysia, it doesn't matter. They get connected. When a 500 ringgits or a, a 1000 ringgits telephone can connect to the uh, another phone which is also the same value, why not we human beings? We also can connect with each other through this cosmic energy, through our intentions, where mind plays a very, very important role. And I wish to mention here that we all have been uh, uh, communicating with this cosmic energy, uh, whether living or non-living, we have been communicating and uh, uh, every second we are doing this. That means to say, even though I am sitting down here, I do know uh, what kind of chair I am sitting and you also watching this particular uh, video, you would also know that. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Prabhu down here and wherever you are sitting, you are still interacting with the chair, the color of the chair, the walls, you would be interacting. And if you look into the a little more uh, a finer aspect, in the cosmic library, I mean the cosmic energy, we are all a microzone, that means we are a small atom only, we are the very smallest particle in this universe. Uh, and uh, planet is a microzone, of course it's a bigger form of what we are. Now, for this, the best example I can give you is if you go into the space and see a particular person in a particular place, you think you would be able to see, no, cannot, isn't it? Even if you use a microscope, we cannot, unless we zoom through the satellite and then probably we'll see as a tiny particle. Now, the next, uh, this particular, we go to the very basics. Here, I, I, I show you that we are all like, a, you know, uh, let me tell you, it's more like a story I would like to tell you is, we are all like a rechargeable batteries and we need charging every day. Now, without fail, we need to charge. Now, in this situation, I would say that 60 to 70 percent of the people in this universe, we fail to charge ourselves every day. We forget ourselves. We forget our body. We forget our requirement of this cosmic energy that we need to charge. So, we need to charge every day. So, we will go through the slides. We will see what is the next step. Here, now you see, how do I how do I check this particular biofrequency? It's a very, very simple instrument called the dowsing rod, which moves 360 degrees. And you can check the energy of any particular object in the universe, animate or inanimate, it doesn't matter. The Commonly, the four patterns, four things what we all use is, one is your own hands, we can use, check the biofrequency. Number two is your pendulum. And number three is uh, through the pillion's photography. And number four is the dowsing rod. This is the one which I have mastered the technique of five years of doing a research in this with this instrument only so i i'm not looking at any digital aspect which uh, digital instruments uh, for the only reason that simple things need not need not be uh, what I, uh, what i would wish to say here is simple things are the one which can create a, a massive a beautiful 
Uh, information can be brought out through the simple things. Like for example, if you say a mango seed which is so small, when you plant it, it becomes a huge tree. How is that? It's a smaller version. But in the same way, I have mastered this particular uh, instrument to check the energy. Now, <clears throat> I don't deny that uh, there are other methods of checking the, uh, the energy fields through other means. There might be, but if any of you are coming across, please do let me know. I would wish to upgrade myself. In this particular slide, you see that you would agree with me that as a human being, in God's eyes, we are all equal and there is no differentiation whether you are rich, poor, you are from America, you are from you, uh, Europe or you are from India or you are from Japan, it doesn't matter. We human beings all are equal in the eyes of God. And here in the next slide what you see is, where next slide what you see is, here you are seeing that we may be born in the different parts of the world, but we eat the same way, drink the same way, sleep the same way, we all do most of things in the same way. Whether you are born in America or in Japan doesn't make any difference. And death is certain for all human beings except a few. Why I say that except a few is, they are the people who are all being remembered even today. For example, Jesus, is even today he is talked about. Buddha, even he is talked about. Nabi Muhammad, he is still talked about. So if you are looking at the various spiritual uh, masters who have come to this universe, they have created a situation where we, we still remember them. But you see, we may be born in different parts of the world, but one thing is very, very sure. We do not have a religious tag on the day we are born. I think you all will agree with me on this concept because on the day you are born, you are born as a beautiful child and only after a particular time, once your parents tell you that you are following, following a particular religion, then only you realize that a particular religion is available in the universe to move forward. So having a faith in a particular religion is beautiful. It doesn't matter what faith you are. But what I wish to tell you here is, you need to understand the concept of bio vibes, which will definitely give you an advantage in whatever religion you are following to make your life an impact which makes more meaningful for you. Now we go into the, this particular, and now here you, what you see is a very beautiful slide wherein uh, I am showing you the divine place of worship wherein it can be from uh, uh, Hinduism or from Buddhism or from uh, uh, Islam or from any other parts of our religious beliefs. I have noticed that all the place of worship, the frequency is minimum above 15 inches and all children born at birth, they are also beautifully 18 inches. That means to say we are all divine at birth. But in my research, what has happened is 60 to 70 percent of the human beings are not even maintaining a normal frequency of 7.5 to 8.5, which is very alarming and which is where I, I would wish to invite you to join this beautiful team of high vibes and make this world a better place to live. Now here, what you this is science, what I'm talking in science here, what is it? Every object, whether animate or inanimate, has an aura around it or an energy around it or in the smallest form of energy is your atom. And higher the, higher the energy fields are on the particular object, better the communication. And lower the frequency, lower the communication. Now imagine if 70% of our human population is, is cut off from the cosmic energy because the frequency is low. But they are still functioning, but they are not communicating properly with the cosmic energy or with the environment. So now we go to the next, the next slide where we, we notice that this is a very common platform which everybody would agree with. The air we breathe, the water we, the water we drink, the mother earth, the fire and the many more things of nature do not have any choice of the user or the preference. No. Yes or right? Yes or no? Definitely yes because the air we breathe doesn't have a Muslim air, we don't have a Christian air, we don't have a Buddhist air. Air is the same for everybody. Oxygen is the same for everybody. Everybody, every living being needs this. Now, it is we who have divided ourselves among ourselves saying that we particularly follow a particular religion or a religious faith. It doesn't really matter. Let us all live the right part of life as God's path of life and then we make this world a better place. With or whatever religious background you have, move forward, please, no problem at all. And we, we shall all live and make this world a better place to live. Now, uh, Next slide please. Uh, now what I am showing you here is uh, uh, basically what you look at this particular uh, slide wherein the energy field is expressed from 0 to 18 inches of frequency. 0 to 18 inches. What I mean to say is what I show you down here is this dowsing rod if it focuses like this that means it's 0. 
then it opens up 1 to 3 inches and it goes up until the 18 inches 18 is fully open now this is the highest form of divinity also is this particular thing that is what is you are born with the highest form of divinity and uh, of course the normal vibration varies from 7.5 to 8.5 but I am not talking you about being normal I am talking you let us all become a little more higher than the normal is above 10 inches so I invite you all for being above 10 inches now for the first time in Asia I would like to say that this is a statement based statement which I have made wherein after my research is bio vibration is directly proportional to your state of mind and your heart now state of mind is a confused mind definitely the vibration is low if you are a, a, a very clear mind if you are a very happy person then automatically your frequency is on our higher side and the same thing goes with heart also if you are a very sorrow person if you are a person very depressed then automatically your frequency also goes down and if you are a very happy person and if your heart is full of joy and love automatically your frequency also changes when you go to the next life and for the first time I am inviting you all from the golden hands let us make this world a better place to live only with high vibration only there is no choice for you all you all need to have high vibration and thereby make this life a more meaningful one and now I am going to show you a few objects which, which, which probably will understand that every thing in this universe has got an energy now in this particular slide you are noticing that uh, from all the three religion, uh, religious backgrounds, I have shown you that the Hinduism, the Christian, the, the Islam one, everywhere the object, whatever I am showing, there is some kind of uh, frequency which that particular object is emitting and then we can measure the frequency of that particular. So higher the frequency, the better for you, the better the, the frequency can emit for you. The next slide, what you are seeing is animals and plants also emit some kind of energy and the beautiful part is the nature which God has created for all of us to live including the plants and the animals they all maintain a high frequency whereas we are the only human beings where God gave us the sixth sense that is our mind wherein to rationalize ourselves and thereby decide what is good and what is bad but here we have failed in our journey to understand to maintain this high frequency for the only reason is that most of the time we have been taught that you do your praise and then automatically you will get the benefit but I say no I say you should be your antenna should be in a particular frequency that is when you communicate with the cosmic energy thereby you will be having a very good frequency thereby you can communicate ultimately we are all communicating whether you are going to earn money whether you are going to build buildings it doesn't matter we all are communicating in this universe with the, our antenna properly energized now in this slide what you see is I have almost checked 4300 human beings in Malaysia alone including a little bit of foreigners but I am quite alarmed and I am quite uh, it's amazing also it's abundance it's amazing it's alarming but on one part of it I do a, a feel that why do the human beings are living in the lower frequency we all need to be in the high frequency we were born with 18 so you should be 18 inches all through your life but here in this graph you would see the 0 to 7 inches which, uh, which forms almost 60 to 65 percent of the population and only the normal human beings normal uh, frequency is between 7 to 10 is only 20 to 30 25 percent of the people are in the normal frequency and 10 percent which is above 10 inches which are the cream of the society is only 10 percent out of which 8 percent is uh, adults and the 2 to 3 percent is uh, children and what we uh, so what we understand is what I would like to tell you is we all are using one thing or the other thing in one way or the other way we are all using bio enhancers now whether you pray whether you are being happy whether you are using a garland it doesn't matter we are all trying to enhance our bio frequency and thereby ultimately what is that we want to make ourselves happy if we want to make ourselves happy we are using many methods and one of the methods what you are seeing here is is one of the feng shui item wherein uh, this is a particular uh, fountain which also emits vibration 100%. Now higher the vibration the better for you. Now for this I can show you this particular uh, frequency of this particular uh, water fountain. You can you see this frequency? It's almost 15 inches of uh, 15 plus. This is almost 15 inches of frequency which is very good. That means it's emitting good vibration for me. Now whether it's going to bring good luck I do not know but I believe that anything good frequency is good for you in the environment. So here we all are using bio enhancers in one way or the other way. Now ask yourself whether are you using the 
bioenhancers. Now here what I am I trying to give you another information is let us all join hands together to go into the high frequency and thereby make this world a better place to live and here golden hands for the first time we are talking about bio enhancers now which is very very important and you need to live in this universe with high vibration only the best option for you is only being high vibration now how do we go about contact me call me you can email me, you can Skype me and you can inter interact with me through my Facebook and thereby I will give you, I am ready to give you all the information what you are looking at and the only request is please join this universe in making the, this universe a better place for us to live in a high vibration and uh, we do have uh, bio enhancers which is for the first time where Golden Hands proudly uh, brings out pendants, pyramids and we have bioenergy vans which is all naturally ingredient which is uh, which can help you to enhance your frequency but i do not say that just because i am giving you this information you need to buy the product from me no what you all can do is if you can get the bio enhancer from any part of the world and if it can enhance your frequency above 10 inches please buy that particular product and enhance your frequency by all means but if you feel that you can enhance your frequency naturally by doing your prayers and other means with which you can go on to my website and get a lot of information on how to enhance your frequency naturally. I would appreciate that you all should go to the website and as well as I have given you my details of contact. Please look into it and get in touch with me and then I shall be uh, happy to assist you in whichever way you want. And I believe that this is an awakening call for every one of you for a change in your life. Join hands with golden hands. Let us make this world a wonderful place to live and let us all be happy in whatever way we can and whatever profession you are, whatever religious background you are, it doesn't matter. I want you all to be in the high vibration and make this world a better place to live. And thank you very much for listening and watching this particular video on bio vibration. And you need anything more, please contact me and I am ready to help you. And thank you very much for this uh, opportunity for me to give you on this particular subject. And thank you very much. Thank you and thank you and thank you.